Roman numeral analysis part 2 inversions we've already seen how chords built on each scale degree have different qualities now they will have the same qualities but we're going to invert them here we are in C major and that is a one chord so Roman numeral capital one and the first thing we're gonna do is the bass note is um, the lowest note and that sort of determines the name of the inversion. Uh, when the lowest note is the root of the chord, then the triad's in root position. Next, let's invert the chord. The bass note is now the third of the chord. This is called first inversion. Let's invert the chord again. Now the fifth note is the lowest note of the chord. This is called second inversion. If you invert it one more time, the triad returns to root position. Let's take this example. First of all, the key we're in is C major. And you have this chord here with an A, a C, and an F. It's not in first inversion because you have a third here, but this interval here is a fourth. One, two, three, four. So that's no good. So what we have to do is we have to, first of all, figure out what chord it is. And if you put the F down here, you would have an F chord. And in C major, F is the four chord. So we're going to write a capital number four. And then we have to, um, let me clear that for a, uh, for a second. So we're going to write a capital number four. And then you have to indicate the fact that the third is on the bottom. It's in first inversion. So you would write a little six right up there in the superscript. Now someone might ask, why do we write a six? And it's because it's sort of shorthand for the intervals. It's actually shorthand for six, three. You wouldn't write six, three, just write six as a shorthand. But it, it means uh, from the bass note to the next note is one, two, three. And then from the bass note, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the logic behind it. You don't need to know that. You just memorize. This is in first inversion because the third is on the bottom. So I'm going to write, um, let me try this cool eraser here. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. Anyway, you write capital Roman numeral four with a six to indicate that it's first inversion. This next example is in D major, two sharps, and you have a B, an E, and a G sharp in the bass there. So you have to ask yourself, what is the root of the chord? And if you were to stack them in thirds, you would have to flip this B up to the top, so you would have E, G sharp, B, all in a row there. Now, in that case, the B is the fifth of the chord, Therefore, the, if the fifth is in the bottom, it is second inversion. So a proper Roman numeral analysis actually would look like this. You'd write D, and then you would write, this is an E chord, so that starts on the two. So you'd write a lowercase number two, and then you would write six, four. Sorry, I made a little mistake two slides back. It's not G sharp, it's G natural. So the chord is E, G natural, B, which is a minor chord with, because it's built on the two. And then the 6-4 indicates second inversion, meaning that the fifth is on the bottom. If so this is root, third, and then the B would be the fifth, but it's on the bottom. Okay, let's do this for the quiz that goes along with this video. So you're going to have to uh, one question, tell me what key this is. Tell me what the root of this chord is. Then tell me what Roman numeral it should go with. And then also tell me the inversion. So that will all be on the quiz. Please do that now. You can pause the video. I'll do one more so you can get the hang of it. The first thing you do is you know by memory that the key signature here is E major, 
of course it could be the relative minor C sharp minor but we're just going to work in major keys now so we are E major then you have this chord here so you need to figure out the root not the bass note well obviously you have a fourth here one two three four so that's this is not the root actually this A is the root so this is A C sharp and then the E would go on top therefore since the E is the fifth but it's on the bottom it is in second inversion so you would be like you would think a this is the a major chord um, or maybe you don't know it's major but you know it's an a chord and a is the fourth note of the e major scale so you have e f sharp g sharp a one two three four so you'd write a capital roman numeral four and then in superscript you'd write a six over four six four to indicate second inversion okay this is the last one of the triads get out a sheet of paper and write down your answer and then I will give you the answer so first of all we're in a major key tell me what the key signature says in terms of what key we're in then write the Roman numeral and the correct inversion stop the video now go ahead and do it then I'll tell you the answer okay we're in the key of G major and the root of the chord is this F sharp because there's a gap here it's not like space 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 or line 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 so you would flip the C sharp up here in order to get F sharp A C okay and so F sharps the root so you know that F sharp is the seventh scale degree of G so G A B C D E F sharp G so F sharps the root, so you write a Roman numeral 7, and you know by memory that it's a lowercase 7 with that little circle in the superscript. So the answer would be something like this. You don't put the line there, it's not a fraction. You just write 6 over 4. And that's the answer. Hope you got it. Thinking, thank you for watching part 2 of chord inversions with. Um, actually, it's part 2 of Roman numeral analysis with chord inversions. And uh, please review this video a couple times before class because we're going to be doing some worksheets. Also, don't forget to take the quiz that goes along with this on your haiku.